What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the location, you know, spoof the GPS location on your iOS device running iOS 26 or of course iOS 18, 17 and so on with any two. This one doesn't require a computer, but you can use it on a computer as well. And it supports Windows as well as Mac OS. It also supports Android and iOS as well. So this one allows you to change the location of your device for gaming purposes, for privacy purposes, and of course, for any reason you might see fit. And there are multiple ways you can change the location on your device with this including the jump teleport joystick mode select any spot you can create paths that it will follow in time and of course this doesn't require a jailbreak no root it also supports android 16 if you have an android device so let's see it in action now i have my device over here running ios 26 so i'm going to show you exactly what it runs it's ios 26 over here and here we have the maps application that we're going to use to see in real time what's going on now I'm going to open the iMyPhone Any2 program and this one will allow us to just go ahead and change the location as we please. So I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to go get started and select a device. You have both the Wi-Fi or USB modes supported so you don't have to be plugged into the computer. You can just be on the same Wi-Fi. And then you have two options over here, the game mode and universal mode. And there is a disclaimer over here. You should check out the disclaimer and read it. Of course, it's important to know that these may get the Detected if you move too quickly or if you teleport so your account can be banned if you don't use this smartly definitely be careful but I'm gonna go with the universal mode which works with most location based applications including social media apps for privacy and so on so we're gonna be asked for the uh, computer password I'm gonna go ahead and type it and once you have it it will connect to the device it should take a few seconds and then you will be able to see the map something like this you can see it's loading the map and this is where we are at the moment so right now I'm going to go ahead and just pick another place on the map. I'm going to go somewhere in, say, France. I'm going to place it here. And this is the teleport mode. If I click move, check out the map right here in the corner. I'm going to press move. And as you can see, it moved. And actually, it can jump. So if I go ahead and move back to Italy somewhere in here and press move, it will actually jump. You can see on the map on the phone as well, it jumped because now the device believes we are in Italy. So you can see in here, it definitely works. So this moves instantly, which is nice because the second you click in here and you move, it will actually move on the device as well as you can see over there. But this is not the only mode and this one is a little bit dull. You can also enter an address if you want to. For example, if I type Chicago, this one will give me a couple of options and I can move to Chicago right away. And now if I click the location button over there, it's going to send me straight to Chicago. But the best way to do this would be to go to two spot mode or multi spot mode, which this one, if you click, allows you to select streets that you want to go through. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move to this street over here. This is going to be where I want to go. And here you have the option of how fast you want to travel. So this would be like walking and this would be like going with a bike and this would be a car. I'm going to go with somewhere in between and you have the option for realistic mode. And of course we can start moving and this will begin moving, but this will begin moving slower, you know, like a car or a bike or somebody walking, not instantly. And this can help prevent being detected in games and stuff like that that require location. This also helps with various other applications that require you to move in order to perform an action. And you can see that we're also moving here on the map and it's moving in real time with us. So this is definitely great. I'm going to press stop over here and I'm going to demonstrate the multi-spot mode. So it's exactly the same thing, but this way you can actually create stops. So I'm going to go there and then there and then here. And then I'm going to go here into the water. So I'm going to select, say, the car so that it moves faster and I'm going to click move and you can see that it will actually follow those steps first second third and the fourth in that particular order and you can see here on the map that it's actually moving so this way you can actually pre-program routes that you want for the application to follow and this is great for games that require movement and stuff like that so you can see it in real time doing its thing and you don't have to do anything on the device itself and it can be connected via wi-fi and this would still work so you can see it work but then we also have the joystick mode and this one allows you to move slowly 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 in the direction that you want you can see that I'm moving 
with the mouse and every time I click it moves a little bit and of course you can adjust the speed as well so you can see how good this works and I'm gonna go with car so that it moves faster so yeah it's actually more granular you can have better control of where you are going and how fast you are going and of course the map will continue to follow suit so that's exactly how you go ahead and change your location with iMyPhone any 2 here you can also see the connected devices you can enable disable disconnect and here you have the map style you have bright streets if you want to too. Then you can also enable dark mode if that's what you want. But there is also support for night navigation and there is also support for stereoscopic 3D which is actually quite nice because you can actually see the full map from the satellite so it's quite great. So yeah that's essentially it. That's how you spoof the location on your device. If you want to get back to the normal location you just have to restart the device and the GPS data would be cleared and you can use your normal location but while you're using this your device will believe that you are in that particular location that you selected which could be useful for privacy reasons or gaming and so on. Definitely check the program out below. Thank you for watching. I'm GS now. Peace out.